Hey guys and gals, it's time for a real world review of hang tight quilts. Stick around. So today I want to talk about a quilt set that I picked up uh, before my Appalachian Trail through hike. So I was able to use this particular set for a uh, 40 mile through hike or section hike per se of the Appalachian Trail. Uh, I through hiked the width of it. No, seriously though. Um, so a little backstory on this. I had ordered a uh, hammock gear kit from hammock gear and decided I was going to switch into a hammock for the fall. And after I did that, unfortunately, I found out that lead times uh, for me to get the necessary insulation to fall camp in a hammock were pretty substantial. I think the lowest lead time I could find was hammock gear and they were eight to 10 weeks out. So uh, that put me in a little bit of a problem. And so I turned to some hammock forums on Facebook and was referred to a guy by the name of Steve out of Michigan that runs a small Etsy shop called Hang Tight Quilts. And I'll show you. Uh, grabs here. So I contacted Steve, told him when I would be leaving for my uh, section hike, and he was able to get me out some of these nice handmade quilt set. Uh, I ended up getting a full length under quilt top quilt set from Steve. And I will say, uh, right off the bat, extremely affordable. Um, probably the cheapest out there by a long shot. However, was not disappointed with what I paid for. Uh, I believe these are like a 10, uh, 10D nylon quilts. Um, I do know that they are 700 fill power down and they come with a comfort rating of 40 degrees. And I will tell you, I was able to sleep in this set out on the trail, even in high winds, down to about 36 was the lowest temperature that it got to on my section hike. And I was never cold ever once. So I would say that is a pretty conservative rating on this set. I was extremely satisfied with how well they performed out uh, in the real world. Uh, the under quilt is pretty simple too. Uh, it comes with two elastic cords that run the length of the quilt uh, to connect them. And Steve throws in these nice little uh, carabiners. It's a very small aluminum carabiner, super lightweight. Uh, I was able to basically hook those through my continuous loop on either end. And it gave me plenty of tension uh, to keep the under quilt on. And then he puts a basically a four-way elastic system on the quilt. So it comes on either side and you have two uh, cam locks. Basically, if you want to cinch the foot or the head end up to the bottom of the quilt. Now, I never had to use this. Like I said, I got down to about 36 degrees and it just so happened to work out that most of the time I wasn't faced in the direction of the wind, so I didn't need to really close these up at all. And uh, super simple, uh, self-explanatory type of setup. I was really happy with how easy it was to make all this work. The uh, top quilt top quilt here is like I said the same material and it is a 700 fill power just like the inner quilt. Now this one uh, the way Steve makes them is they have a closed foot box which I prefer anyways and then there is some uh, some reinforcement here where it is all sewn into the quilt so that uh, it's tear resistant, you might say. Uh, the, the downside to these, if you are somebody who is looking for a new quilt for a tent, um, this particular quilt doesn't have anything set up on it for pad straps or uh, anything like that. But there is an option on the Etsy shop if you are a tent sleeper and you would still like to look into these, Steve has a couple options for people that want to use them with sleeping pads. So that is an option. Uh, it's not just for, for uh, hammocks. Um, I think from beginning to end, my order took about four weeks, which is, like I said, less than half of anyone's uh, lead time at the time due to the virus. 
and some of the bigger companies were, were even out even further than, than 12 weeks, uh, depending on who you looked at. Um, so I will put a link in the description of this video if you guys are interested in looking into hang tight quilts for yourself. I know that he also offers a 20 degree set called the Heat Seeker if 40 degrees is not warm enough for you. And uh, Steve is pretty quick to answer any messages that you send him. So there shouldn't be any problems if you need to get in contact with him. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and uh, hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, uh, hit that subscribe button too. Thanks for joining me today and until next time, remember to hike your own hike.